Four more. Also, just in there. Life, prosperity, good, good health. We give thanks. We center ourselves into the energy of gratitude. We relax into the knowing that we are divine and we are divinely protected. We give thanks for our spiritual strength. We affirm divine clarity, understanding, peace, wisdom, prosperity, abundance, pure joy, support. And we ignite the flames of passion to assist us in moving towards our highest and greatest good to walk in our own walk in the highest and best vibration. We give thanks for the benevolent energy of all the natural elements and forces that guard, guide, protect us, support us, walk with us, listen to us, and speak to us as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the spirit of the warrior within, for the spirit of righteousness. We receive these messages for our full moon in Aquarius. We give thanks. We are poised and powerful, engulfed in the energy of the Leo. We are balanced, we are peace, we are at peace. And so it is. Miss Cleo Deck. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all know how I feel about Miss Cleo. If you've been following me, if you haven't, you need to know. This is my very first deck, which is about 19 years old. But I love it. All right, let's get a message here, okay? Stuff falling out. Mm. Let's get a message here. And there's somebody with a message. Here's somebody with a message, okay? An offer, an emotional offer. An emotional offer. Water energy representing the size of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Even if someone is not of that sign, it embodies those energies. And along with that, we have the Knight of Staffs and other decks known as the Knight of Wands. Now, in this deck, the message with him is movement and moving forward. So, and you notice there's a lot of water here, even though this is a fire card. So, we have water here, we have water here. So there's a connection between this message, this offer coming, and the movement card. So we can see this as travel, also movement of residence. Someone could have information to assist. That's great about the move, about the travel. But they're both going in that direction. So we're moving forward here. We are moving forward. You are leaving things behind. And it could be that even though this message comes,
you may go away anyway because this this person could be somebody you're leaving behind okay there's another scenario that could be here now this is a general reading so you take what makes sense for you this the, this could be the person seeing you leaving or the people or the place or whatever seeing you leaving and like what what are you kidding me where are you going like for real you leaving you leaving you gonna burn the road up for real where are you going and you like i'm out pressed pressing towards the mark of a higher calling i am not i'm not doing this so yeah it looks like um definitely you gotta go so either way you're moving forward whether okay yeah see this is somebody someplace something some people who have been in your past or wants to take you back to the past You're like no don't leave i got all these memories of us we were supposed to do this and that don't leave now i'm gonna be thinking about you and that might be you know this could be you sitting here again it's water energy we have cups here and you may be looking back like mm-hmm and I'm still out. I'm still fixed to leave this thing for me. And you already know this. So yeah. Could be bittersweet. Because you could be thinking, yeah, there were some good things that happened there. Or could have happened. But I gotta move on because it's not for me. And being that the cups again that's for emotions. It's a lot of emotional ties. Because there's water, lots of water in each of these cards. And that's subconscious, that's emotions, feelings. So move on. Listen to the call of the trumpet. Move forward. You're being called forward to do what you have to do. So you can have the memories, you can deal with the memories, you can shed a tear if you need to. It's time to go. And of course, we got to get a moon card or two. If it's the full moon. I've been slacking on my moon readings. I, I like y'all know I like my moon readings. I really, really do. So let's get a card or two. See what else a um, message can come for us. Okay, thanks. Like for stuff to fall out, but he must have fallen out yet. Oh, well, here we go. Well, I'll be look at there, look at there. You're very close to achieving your goals. Look at the moon, look at the moon on this beautiful beautiful full moon in Aquarius look at there so I'm going to encourage you to go out and meditate if you can at night during this full moon you know the energy is like at its peak right now but of course this energy is around us for a few more days so it's Tuesday night where I am and I would suggest Trying to get some meditation or just walk outside for a few minutes even if you don't just be out in the moonlight if you can or just outside in the dark when the moon is shining even if it's cloudy where you are doesn't matter there's a lot of things unfolding there's progress to be had you are going to reach your goal Listen to the call of the trumpet within your soul and do not let anything, anybody hold you back when you know what you're supposed to be doing. Things are at hand here. And we have the movement of the Knight of Wands to help us. I know I gotta ask for another one. You know we gotta do another one. I love that. Let's see what else Y'all know we got a super moon, right? Y'all know we got a super moon. 
Look at that. And any full moon, usually emotions get run high. And I'm going to tell you right now, I've been crunk the last week or so in the last couple of days. Like, I had to give people some, what the hell we call it? Some piece of their mind, piece of my mind. Well, you know why I'm thinking about that phrase now. They don't need a piece of my mind. They need a piece of mine. And I need a piece of mine. And I got mine. By giving them a piece of what they needed to hear. Because ain't nobody doing this. No. Emotions are running high. So, I'm taking this as a word of caution. Into in two different aspects. So, be on the lookout for other people not being able to control their emotions and reminding yourself you know if people are just going nuts for no apparent reason making assumptions or whatever whatever just shoot and protect yourself and do your best to just stay out of the way because you really ain't got time because stuff like this will get people in some handcuffs real quick so don't let you be the one that is going off the handle for no good reason on the other end of it, like I was saying, I have been crunk in the sense that it's been some people, places, situations, um, mostly people lately, of course, that or whom have been doing some crazy stuff for a long time and got a nerve to be acting like everything is good. And I'm like, no. This ain't going to work. So I had to tell some people some things this week. And some people had to hear some choice words. I had to tell some folks to kiss my grits. Show sure did. Kiss my grits. Okay. So you know which one you are. But, and you could be both. That's definitely very possible. You, okay, we're being reminded here. We got to go. It's stuff that needs to be done. It's stuff that we have to do that we're supposed to be doing. We need to be doing our stuff. And because of that, some people could be all uptight and in their feelings. Because not everybody wants to be happy for us. Especially when we decide to take back our power and stand up for ourselves. A lot of people don't like that. And so they can get all out of sorts. You know? I have read many, many times that this is the reason we have the word lunatic in reference to the moon, Luna, because a lot of times during the full moon, you know, things culminate, they come to a head. And this is why people like me are telling people to kiss their grits, because it's like, no, we're not doing this. We are not going to do this. We are not going to do this. Especially when you're sensitive to the energy anyway, and you feel it, you know it's there, I don't care what people say on the surface. And sometimes you just have to cut that off because it's affecting your energy. You're a highly sensitive person. You don't have time. You really don't. You really don't have time. Okay. One more card from another day from the Spellcasting Oracle. How about that? I just love this. So take care of yourself emotionally. Make sure you're meditating. Okay, play some calming music around the house. Give the children their spiritual baths and play some healing and calming frequencies. But salt the lavender tea, lavender oil for the baths, for the diffusers, whatever. Okay, do some calming things to help you feel focused and take care of yourself. Again, spiritual baths, wash your hair, and use some um, some little spiritual stuff in your shampoo. Okay. See, here come the moon again. Look at that big, bright moon. Super moon energy once again. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. You don't let anybody stop you. That's why you have to move forward because you have blessings coming or blessings awaiting you in another direction. You have to move forward. You have to move forward. You have to move forward. Look at her. She's looking. Press for the mark of a higher calling. Ain't nobody got time. Be vulnerable with yourself. Tell yourself the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And release. Release. Because your time.
them to release and release the rituals that you need to be doing do them um cord cutting at this time will be good sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep them out mine you know sweep it salt it and listen to your spirit guides your spirit team is there for you listen to your spirit team that's why your meditations again are so important Anything beneath the surface that needs to come up may come up in some meditations for you. Perfect timing. If you need to cry to get it out, do that. Do that. Don't be a punk and don't cry. Cry it out. Deal with it. Face it. You being a punk when you don't want to face yourself. When you don't want to let the tears flow, when you don't want to let the emotions out some type of way. But being that we have a whole lot of water here, I would say crying is very helpful. Spiritual battles, once again, focus on the force of water. Be grateful for the element of water. We need that water energy right now. It's summertime, it's hot. There's a lot going on, so... Try not to let people pull you into their drama. Take care of yourself. Take a nap if you need one. I would suggest taking one even if you feel like you don't need one. But may the force of healing be with you now and always. Ashe. 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 I just had to hit that thing even though it wasn't set up right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening.